We are aware and deeply sorry that users continue to encounter the inventory wipe. Well, that doesn't really matter now. If I can just log into the game, that'll be a start. So it did signal before that we were unavailable. <laughs> you may be thinking, why are you playing on World Tier 6? Well, it's more or less because I want to complete a story and uh, finish all those side missions before I move on to the end game. It's that conceptually is essentially what, um, what's it called? Anthem. It's essentially what Anthem should have been because the, the, the guys who worked on Anthem, the, um, what are they, Bioware, uh, their, the original idea that they pitched was like this futuristic world where mankind would have been uh, driven in outer space and where they had to find new civilizations and essentially you would be going through terrains like this like a, this kind of environment and discovering the land and trying to survive like the cataclysmic uh, event of uh, that this anthem of creation the item that uh, allowed them to create the javelins um, was creating. Now, the lead director for Anthem, some guy who got fired as for late, I just cannot remember his name, he essentially just went out and um, it was like, hey, so I've seen Iron Man 3. Do you, do you guys mind uh, making like a suit like that for me? Like, that was literally his pitch for Anthem. And of course, they could not provide that because the whole thing was rushed. He got cyber Cyberpunk 27th. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you do? Is the big thing of the corporations, right? Or studios. They mess up everybody who has any creativity at all. Anyways, but yeah, I mean, I like Outriders. It's simple, it's something that you can just do to pass the time. So I don't mind it. Not one bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That actually did hit a lot harder than I thought. I think I was recommended something um, to watch since I did check out the uh, Deathwing one by Rushton Badger. He actually also has another one for Space Marines which I did play some few months ago. A couple of months ago, I think. It's essentially what I I have based my uh, 3D modeling on Space Marines of. The, yeah, I mean, because the 3D models are pretty simple to, to make. Well, simple, simple. There are parts that need to be sculpted and are a bit difficult, but I mean, <laughs> Polygon is true. <laughs> it's, it's, it's as easy as it gets. Or at least if you want to make things less complicated. Good. But actually, uh, let me pause here for a moment and uh, let's just check out uh, that video by Russian Badger. I came here to do two things and I already stole your property. So let's do this. <laughs> Oh, I missed that all. You want to steal my Titan Space Marine? Future Fabio. We're talking three lungs. We're talking night vision. We're talking eight foot tall, eight hundred pound monsters that look like Hulk Hogan ate Boogie Two Nine Eight and covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. We are the bringers of death. Think of them as religion fueled death machines, hell bent on exterminating any race that isn't human, while also not being racist. Yeah, racism doesn't exist. Like 
one thing that's great about Warhammer is like <laughs> at least the Imperium of Man. They operate by one logic. Like there can be no racism if there exists only one race. Humanity. All races, as long as they don't have green skin. Balls, God. Or they belong to a different religion. <laughs> Damn, that actually looks pretty good. Dumbass, like Glossing over all that lore that you don't need to understand. One such Thanks. chapter of Space Marines are the Ultra Marines. Her if we're being honest, Ultra Smurfs. That are charged with exterminating the orcs on one of your manufacturing planets the, that are oh, stealing the your finest. shit. How important is this shit that they're stealing, you might ask? Strategic value, absolute. <laughs> so I'm I'm guessing that's pretty important then. Strategic value. Yeah. Absolute. I mean it's a Titan after all. You occupy the role of Captain Titus, a soft-spoken junior officer voiced by the legendary Mark Strong. Whoa. That's the thing that usually happens when, I mean, I tend to gloss over a bit of a... Like, when the game is not really something that I care too much about, when narrative-wise, when it's something like just action. Uh, occasionally, if like I know the, the voice actor, that I can distinguish them. I will, but I actually did not notice that it was Max Strong. Um, yeah, I guess that that's that's pretty cool. Sergeant and a turbo nerd subordinate named Leandro that constantly hounds you about not following a dipshit. <laughs> Follow the damn space the book, Titus. Perfectly clear. I beat the entire game once in its default state, and uh, yeah, he modded last, I beat it again thing. immediately afterwards, only with mods out the ass. So instead of playing as a calm and collected crit marine, <laughs> I played as a blood marine, which, if I'm being honest, was a slightly different experience. <laughs> Oh yeah. Heresy, you're confusing, I understand. I just grew up playing an RTS called Oh wow, it just takes voices from different That could be cool. The orcs invading your planet and trying to steal your huge ass Titan tank are a super diverse bunch. Range voice boxes from uh, Don't Know Who. Don't run away from me. Why do you even exist? Equal opportunities heresy. We don't discriminate here. Heresy is just heresy. Who was basically Shrek in his final form. Equally as diverse the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with. From a dinky bolt or pistol all the way to a heavy bolt. Because when it comes to orcs, the caliber you're firing can never be too high. Kill this. The quickest way to purge through scores of orcs? Getting up close and personal is not only the fastest way to cut through a horde of orcs with single, double, and triple hit combos, but believe it or not, it's how space marines heal. Yeah, that's right. These guys are <laughs> well, it would make sense for blood marines or blood ravens. Or the health kits. Blood angels, sorry. Just crump some poor orc, mash your stun key until an orange skull pops up and execute his ass for a speedy and convenient health boost. Die, heretics. Yeah. <laughs> the of choice is a trade-off between speed and damage. Like How about a, a bit of slaughter for breakfast? For cutting things while you're also simultaneously already cutting things. But I mean, it's less potent it can't be too armor. much cutting. I'm cutting things even though I was already cutting things. On the other hand, or rather, with both hands, the thunder oh, This was so fun. Bus, I mean, it, it totally gave you like the Mjolnir like experience. And you've got a power axe in between those two extremes. And I can't explain why, but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic <laughs> gymnastics competition when you use it. And I'm oddly okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to get fancy, you can melee three 
times and mash stun to curb stun multiple enemies and choke slam any motherfucker still standing. So it's safe to say that when it comes to this move, the Emperor most definitely does approve. I said, Oh wow, when you're purging so hard that you get stuck in the terrain? Brother, brother, I am stuck in the terrain. <laughs> Eventually, you'll realize you can't just slice your way through the game. <laughs> Chaos Marines and their pedantic piece of shit leader meme rock. That noise cannot defeat me! And you'll need to start firing guns if you want to survive. Or more specifically, bolters. Bolters, brothers! If you go oh, yeah. assault rifle, I'm gonna break your arms. Because it may be used like an assault rifle, only instead of firing a 223 the size of a crayon. Uh, this is why I have to remind myself that... Um, Badger alongside Heavenly and his entire crew uh, essentially just weeps for gun. <laughs> Yo, uh, I, I, I kind of appreciate the Americans for this. Like, you guys are weeps for guns. That's literally what you are. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, I mean, if, if it is legalized in your country and that's literally a hobby that you need to have, I mean, at least get informed about it and uh, yeah. Uh, get trained to use that, but use it respectfully. But I mean, yeah, gun politics. Let's not talk about that. It's like a complicated issue. On or a 308 the size of your finger, it fires a 998, which should actually be a 75 cal according to the lore. That's essentially like firing a self-propelled can of Red Bull that explodes after penetrating its target, making it almost into an assault rifle RPG hybrid. That's a pretty good analogy, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, considering what is re recently going on with Amazon, it might just as well be. Three? Oh. If you absolutely, positively have to expand as many rounds as possible, the store bolt. The Imperium. We don't need to count. A double-barreled LMG. That's cool for the first five minutes that you use it. Oh, uh, the spread, my dude. Eh, just put them anywhere that's remotely close to a target. I don't really give a shit. But better alternatives do exist because the game gives you four slots. Consistent. Favorite is the Vengeance Launcher. Long range and fuck, 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 the way to it, fuck. I kept the standard bolter and stalker bolter throughout most of the game because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your ass into outer space. <laughs> crump you. But once I started fighting the forces of chaos, wow. I dropped the stalker for the last cannon or laser cannon, aka the Space Marine Spartan laser that was clearly superior because here's me killing a chaos marine with a bolter. Yeah, they are pretty resilient. Thank the Emperor! I was starting to think he was invincible there for a second. And here's me doing the same deed with a LAS cannon, slash LAS cannon. By the Emperor! But that stuff also just ripped through your ammo. It's all about the Vengeance Launcher, which fires sticky nades, which uh, can yeah. detonate, that because stuff. who wants to launch rockets when you can launch Vengeance? <laughs> Avengers Launcher. Even a flame bursting shotgun exists, but all of these specialized How many rounds of retribution can you see? <laughs> can you fire per second? Is the way to go. Navigating the levels is obviously done by either running or rolling. Don't ask me how the hell these characters roll in this much armor. It's a long story. Well, but channeling your inner dark they are to kite enemies or yeah. get to objectives faster is a significant portion of your play. Let's just say the space marine suits don't obey the laws of physics. At least not our current understanding of physics. Damn. You know what's funny? After watching the Super Bowl, this makes a lot more sense. Uh, well, Brody did put in some very good throws. You know what? No, let's not talk Super Bowl 2021. That's that and are arguably better at killing orcs than you are. So this theme of orcs killing themselves is not a new phenomenon. Come on, Squid Merch. Merch in the group. Yeah. 
Damn. As I was saying, you won't always be running or rolling through the terrain because eventually you'll gain access to a jump pack, which when combined with a thunder hammer is like an oh, yeah. dunk contest mixed with Super Smash Bros. Good morning, Slam, and welcome to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you should have done this instead of this Space Jam. This also happens to be wonderful at getting you places in record time. It's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around with, there's one thing that enhances everything, and that's called Fury. If being a space Becoming a literal Super Saiyan. Enough, you can channel Fury, which builds up as you purge heretics, and well... Deliver merciless justice upon the enemies of humanity. That means your health surges. That means you hit harder. That means you turn 30 seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10 second I mean, the aura itself is just... ...general vicinity, punctuated with curb stomps that are extra earth trembling. Damn. This fury becomes more and more powerful as the game goes on, and there's even a marksman mode. So if you ever wanted to enter a slow motion bullet time mode as a badass space marine, here's your shot. <laughs> Max Spain ain't got shit on me. <laughs> combat, movement, and gear are the objectives. I'm pretty sure every objective in the game is either three words or four words, and that's the way it should be. Yeah, th that's what makes it fun. I mean, the game gets pretty repetitive as you move along in the story. So, you may be able to criticize some so like, the small changes that are there just makes it better, and it's simplistic. Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? I've been at this 200 years, I still won't know. Hey, look! <laughs> But it focuses on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating any life form that doesn't look like you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitch, but I don't apologize to see you. The story isn't all that important, seeing as the game only takes five Yeah, it's like super villain monologuing. Bad. The only character that doesn't put me to sleep with her monologuing. Indeed. Playthrough was any better because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. It is the Bane Blade! You? Okay! <laughs> I'm all that's left, my lord. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault, and as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. Engaging warp spider! Ah! <laughs> A warp spider! But at least you get to hook up with some blood ravens to cleanse an entire bridge in the end sequence, and given their history of kleptomania, <laughs> steal anything. Hippity hoppity, where the fuck is my property? You're gonna hit the final boss fight with Mimroth, who's obsessed with becoming ascended for reasons that I won't spoil, but again, this game is about the gameplay, not about the 2011. Oh man, some very good titles come out that yeah. It's not about the plotting, it's about the purging! The end! And that's about it, but before I go, I wanted to mention as of me recording this video right now, it is $7 on Steam. Actually, I also got my on, I'm pretty sure Relic, the guys on sale. don't even exist anymore. Of course, Sega still exists, but I don't think Relic is around anymore. So from an unbiased position, if you have $7 on you that you're not going to spend What's on last, the last deal, Halloween sale? I highly recommend that you pick it up. As long as you don't let a bunch of turbo nerds drown you in lore that takes lifetimes to understand, Warhammer 40k is fascinating. So again, $7. Oh yeah, definitely one of the best communities out there. Oh come on, you can be, you can make fun of this, of the flaming boys. The salamanders are cool. <laughs> Vulcan lives. Oh, that's pretty funny. I I very much love his editing. Also, just like a very light. How to approach the things. Let me just clear this zone pretty quick and uh, 
people take that out too. These bloody snipers, I swear. New shooter by Warhammer. Oh, Focus Home Interactive, that's what they're called. Actually, they made one of my favorite games ever. At least, they were the studios that headed that. It was just, <laughs> essentially, Vampire is like... They, they, they're taking the plot of um, the good old... The, the, the Black Plague. And then they're turning it into... the into No, vampires were the cause of it. It wasn't some microbe or some uh, bad germs back then or some disease that went widespread because people did not know how to wash their hands or be sanitary in the very least. Just having the streets flowing out with excrements everywhere. No, 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 no. It had nothing to do with that. Nor the other population or other population, sorry, of, uh, of the cities, nor the war, the infestation of yeah, yeah just, just just those things. No, it was vampires. So, <laughs> so you have this guy called Jonathan Reed who becomes a vampire and tries to find his progenitor. And it's pretty fun because it's like, kind of like this, like a semi-open world game. Of course, very much concentrated. It's only a few blocks of uh, of London. Yeah, it, it's a pretty good game. I like the narrative in it, and it has some very good moral questions and. It's one of the very few games that actually takes the idea of your choices having consequences seriously. By Necromunda. That's cool. This city's warped. The ashes are running wild. Oh, I like the aesthetic of this. This is actually in-game footage. Have gone underground. Yeah, just a moment. I'm something much worse go down is on the side. A bit loud. It's damn good for business. Ooh. Oh, that is very kinetic. Don't take it personally, friend. There are only three things I <laughs> Nothing trust personal, in kid. The money, my oh. mastiff, and my auto gun. Oh, you're going to spend a lot of time in. With those miners, that makes sense. Like the underbelly of the hive cities. There's only one thing you need to know. The house always wins. Whoa. Yo, I'm sorry. That's pretty epic. Why was I watching the trailer? It's such low quality. What the hell? Okay, I didn't even notice. My mind was just gone. <laughs> I was so sucked in. Oh man, this looks great. You have some seats to battle being showcased there. You're playing as a hide gun. Inquisitor. Um, This looks good. I'm getting some vibe of... Of course... The, I would always say Doom when it comes to this type of shooter like that. Very quick Doom or Rage 2. Uh, Racer was a bit of a letdown, but I mean, the game was good enough. It, it had some uh, some very good abilities, uh, a lot of synergy between your abilities and your weaponry. But yeah, I'm getting some Doom here. Um, it's a bit of Metro, just because of the aesthetics. Uh, like, instead of like a nuclear winter, it's just cold at iron and steel. That's literally Warhammer. That is... Uh, that, that's the point of things. But oh, could you imagine for a moment having Mick Gordon and Guillaume uh, just unleashing their creativity, creating an album? I like to see that. Like, he's, uh, what's he called? It should be a genre, like slay, Slayer Metal. Um, and that techno... <laughs> what do you even... Um, what do you classify... The the, the 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 type of music genre that was put in um, in Warhammer Mechanicus. <laughs> I mean, I I don't know. I don't know what to call that. Like <laughs> Victorian uh, EDM. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, imagine having those two making a music for for a game. 
I mean, maybe it would not exactly fit for this one, uh, since Mechanicus had a lot more focus. Like, it, it would be something that is more centered for, let's say, the Space Marines, people who are really going up for that glory uh, feeling. But here it's just pure brutality and you having to survive or something. No, not, not quite survive, but making it through the hives. Ah, this looks fantastic. And it's when? June 1st. You get to have like your dog body. Yeah, kind of like some, some Far Cry action there. I mean, it's it's always nice. And I said that in the, the, previous, uh, the previous trailer that I checked out. That it's always nice to actually be playing as a common, common man, common person. So that, that that's pretty dope. Awesome. Yeah, looking forward to this type. Yeah, then I, I'll see you in, on June first. Then we get to to explore a bit of uh, the world of Warhammer in a new light. <laughs> 